Hello to all the viewers. I'm glad to have Dr. Kaustav Ghosh, who has secured an amazing rank of 24 in the NEETSS BM Clinical Hematology exam. So uh, at a national level, rank 24, hearty congratulations, Kaustav. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, sir, for your support and blessings. I'm so very grateful for this rank. And I'm also very thankful to Dr. Tutorials. Kaustav, you know, uh, the viewers will definitely like to know more about you. So just tell us your college of MBBS and uh, post-graduation. Uh, sir, I did my MBBS. I joined in the year 2012 from Kalinga Institute of Medical Sciences at Bhuvaneshwar. I passed in the year 2018. And so that year only, sir, I got sir, DNB General Medicine. And I did it from Sir Jawaharlal Nehru Hospital and Research Center Bhilai. Okay. I passed uh, Sir last year September. Okay. All right. I completed my post graduation. Okay. All right. So uh, before the interview part, you know about the preparation. Just tell us one thing: what attracted yes. you to hematology? You were talking of uh, the training that you got from your college, and you were mentioning about a professor you you know who actually influenced you. Would you like to pay your respects for your teachers at college? Sure, yes, sir. Uh, sir, definitely, sir. Dr. Gurmeet, sir. Uh, sir, he is the hematologist in our hospital. And I spent sir, quite a lot of uh, time with him, seeing all the sir, benign and malignant sir, hematology sir, cases. And uh, from there, only I developed the interest for the subject. And, sir, and I gave the uh, zonal IHBT sir, hematology quiz. And our team uh, secured first prize from the state. And from there only, sir, I decided that if ever I have to do something, then I would definitely like to do it in the field of hematology. And so basically, sir, in hematology, I feel the fascinating part that there is a little bit of everything. So there are some benign cases. There are some malignant cases. Uh, there are some diagnostics, some dilemmas. And there are some different treatment for each of the uh, different uh, diseases. Even in some leukemias and lymphomas also, each of the patient we have to approach uh, so differently and there would be a different uh, treatment and the approach protocol for all of the diseases. And so, and there is obviously a laboratory uh, so work also and the blood bank and the bone marrow transplant. So a variety of things are there. And, and these are all the reasons because of which uh, I got so fascinated into this branch. Because de definitely I totally agree with you, Kausta, because Hematology is a very, very fascinating branch. Even for me, during my uh, residency training days in medicine, I was again yes. very fascinated to, you know, hematology. Uh, though I took neurology, I was having a special liking for hematology, rheumatology also. Because hematology yes. is always like solving a puzzle. You've yes. got to have your theory knowledge strong. You've got to have a good clinical assessment and some logical thinking to come to a diagnosis. So it's like solving a beautiful puzzle is hematology. And again, uh, just like Kaustav, you know, I also, you know, was a winner in the Indian Society of Hematology and Blood Transfusion quiz. So, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful quiz because it is a quiz where you can have a, it's not just about medicine residence or pathology. The rule of the quiz is that you can have a combination from medicine, pediatrics or pathology. Correct, Kaustav? Yeah. So, yeah, in my team, when I participated, I was from the medicine and uh, two others were from the pathology. And I guess in your team, how was it? Uh, sir, I was from medicine uh, and so one resident each from pathology and pediatrics was there in our team. Okay. Because, you know, when you prepare for such quizzes, you read a lot. You yes, are, in, I know, see, you have written this, you have given the state quiz. So you would have prepared for that. Then you have gone to the zonal round. You would have prepared for that. So when you yes. keep on reading about the subject, you get more fascinated, correct? Which is one of the reasons, you know, probably you got attracted to hematology. It was definitely some one of others a life changing uh, my decision. Until that, sir, I was not quite sure. I definitely had liking for the subject, but whether we should, I should uh, go forward or not. It was definitely after that quiz uh, where after that I made up my mind that. If I had to do something, I would definitely do it in the field of hematology. After yeah. that, sir, I prepared. I started sir, preparing sir, seriously. And after that, I spent 
a lot of time with gurmeet sir seeing all the different type of cases and after that only sir i finally decided so i think uh, probably that, the residents who are watching this also should understand that while you are doing your md or dnb you should participate in such quizzes because yes, you know sir. that generates an interest about the subject you know i have also participated in other quizzes like say rheumatology quiz we were the national winners you have a sd diodher quiz national yes. quiz by the indian rheumatology association yes, so sir. myself and my friend mithun harold we were the national winners so it's yes, like sir. you know that time there was a phase in final year md where we used to read only rheumatology because we were preparing for the next round of the quiz so it creates an interest also all right so uh, moving forward kaustav uh, just tell us you know your journey with doc tutorials so the time yes, you know all these pattern changes everything actually happened you know you joined doc tutorials and uh, just tell us how the elite exam series helped you in your preparation for the neet ss exam yes sir after passing my sir final dnb practical sir last year september after that sir i uh, joined doc tutorials sir right test series and the test series are uh, scheduled in such a way that uh, your preparations are go side by side and along with the sir, schedule of the test series and if you prepare sincerely according to the topics of the test series then uh, before the exam uh, when you look at it then you feel that all your preparation is already over after that the remaining 10 to 15 days you just have to revise and the best thing is that so that uh, we got sir live ranks and i must say that it was a pretty accurate uh, seeing the sir neat pg sir uh, a neat ss results uh, you get a true idea of where you stand and in and how much you have to work and you get uh, there's a real feel of the exam because you know uh, many students actually told me elite exam series amidst all these exam patterns helped them to stay motivated and focused because uh, exactly. it was not a crude exam everything was like according to a schedule so you had short targets like okay there is an exam coming up this week i have got to prepare accordingly i mean in this time also in the elite season 2 we have done an additional modification we are introducing test and discussion video sessions also like after every exam you will have video sessions like you know for particular exam you know post that exam we'll be having the discussion of those questions as well come last year it was the mcqs and the explanations but this time we'll have the videos as well so uh, yes, how did the competition positively motivate you because there were many candidates who were giving the exam so how did the competition motivate you to move forward uh, sir initially when i sir, started giving test my rank uh, was uh, not so good uh, but after that i just started studying i started to give all the tests as seriously i was not so 100% prepared then also i gave the test and uh, sir by bit by bit i got i just studied a little more i gave the tests and at the end sir i could see the result and the uh, competition sir it motivated me positively to give your effort even more to try a little bit more harder and by doing that step by step ultimately sir i reached the point yeah because that is a very important point that you said because i suppose you had given all the elite exams right all the elite exams yes yeah. sir yeah. all the exams because see many students sometimes what happens is when they are not very well prepared for a particular exam some students might have this tendency to just skip an exam so i think only if you give the exam and find out where you stand okay yes, sir because it's not always about reading sometimes some candidates just keep on reading never practice mcqs but you yes, know uh, kaustav kept on practicing the mcqs and even you know he was first rank in the hematology mock exam also that was conducted by dr doriel so kaustav uh, you would definitely say one thing to your juniors right that hard work is very important and it's not always about you know already knowing everything and then preparing yes sir definitely sir in our fields and in medical fields sir i feel that 99% it is a hard luck and uh, uh, so hard work and uh, so 1% is luck and uh, so you should so definitely do so hard work and it is going to so surely so pay off okay. either today or tomorrow but definitely it will yeah so uh, i'm so happy kaustav with your achievement and i'm sure the support of your family your mentor in uh, college everything i think uh, you know would have played a very big role in your achievement 
so hearty congratulations once again and uh, on a bright professional and personal life wish you all the best uh, thank you sir for your blessings